Peggy stands face to face with a pipe-smoking goblin, who has been narrating her progress through Mount Hora. She now has to find a way to beat him. If she does, she'll be granted access to the glass tower. Hmm. <sighs> Peggy comes up with the brilliant idea to narrate the narrator, which basically means she'll repeat everything he says. Unfortunately for her, this won't have any effect, since the goblin knows exactly what she'll say. Wait, what if I- Perhaps if she does the opposite of what the goblin says, she can beat him. Unfortunately, that won't work, because the goblin will simply read her countermeasures. She then walks to the door and... and she's gone. What? Were you expecting a fight? Do I look like a brawling type to you? <laughs> Please. Hello again, madam. You? You sold me those magic stones. Oh, yeah, that's just a small business of mine. We're gonna eat too. Now, what can I do for you, young lady? Mr. Stargazer, I, I came here all the way from Insula Island to ask for your help. This is Sword. He's been my best friend for as long as I can remember. Please, can you bring Sword to life? Mm. Ah, I can't say no to a charming smile like that. Oh, really? Thank you so much! Here, play sword on this altar. Just, uh, undo that for you. That would be best.